mobile phone is very much part of everyday life now. But it was in 1985 that the first two mobile phone networks were launched in the UK, Vodafone and Cellnet. Today, in 2010, there are more mobile phones in the country than there are people. The mobile phone handset has evolved considerably in those 25 years, from this heavy but portable telephone to this modern day mobile computer which gives us access to a digital world. But what have been the top 10 iconic designs of the last 25 years? Well, during January 2010, we ran an online poll to find out. And here are the answers. So, starting at number 10, we have the Nokia 7110. This was actually the first mobile to feature a WAP browser for internet access. It also had this very useful Navi scroll wheel here for going through menu items. It was also greatly influenced by the Matrix feature film. That film actually featured the Nokia 8110, but the 7110 included the spring-loaded slide as used in the feature film. <laughs> In at number 9 is the Motorola MicroTAC. Launched in 1989, this phone genuinely revolutionised mobile phone design by making them smaller and compact. It had this interesting flip design, but is perhaps best known today for its fake aerial. This was always a piece of plastic, but at the time people felt if you had a mobile phone, you had to have an aerial. <laughs> Here at number 8, the Nokia 9000 communicator. It was the start of the smartphone generation. You could open it to reveal a full QWERTY keyboard which allowed you to use email and other sorts of web access. This now was taking the mobile phone from being a humble telephone into a mobile computer. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, and we have the Motorola 8000 Dynatac range of mobiles. Surely for most people, this is the most iconic mobile phone of the 1980s. Whether it's Michael Douglas in Wall Street or Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses, this was the 1980s yuppie phone. Here we have the Motorola 8500, which was one of the most popular handsets in Europe. <laughs> Coming in at number six is the BlackBerry 8300 Curve. Canadian company Research in Motion were another trendsetter with their BlackBerry range of mobiles, optimised for email access. Today's Blackberries have moved on a long way from this early 7290 model to give you the full web experience of a smartphone. <laughs> Tension is mounting as we move into the top five. And in at number five, the Motorola V3 Razor. Motorola had lost a bit of ground from its early dominance of mobile phone handsets, but the Razor put it firmly back on the map. Its unique etched keyboard made sure that it had an ultra slim clamshell design. <laughs> Moving on to number four, we have another classic design from Nokia, the 5100, represented here by the 5110. This was the first mobile range that allowed you to change the covers. Nokia had recognised that the mobile phone had moved on from being a simple telephone and had become a fashion item. With the 5100 series, you could personalise your handset. <laughs> So, into the top three, and I wish I had a pound for everyone who told me they used to have one of these, the Nokia 6310. It was the ultimate business phone, with a reputation for its rugged design and reliability. 
it was actually the first Nokia to feature a Bluetooth interface and is still fondly remembered to this day. So, what's made it to number two? Well, it's another design from Nokia, the 3210. This was actually the first Nokia to feature an internal aerial and became hugely popular in Europe when it was marketed as a phone for youngsters. I suspect it's here because for most people it was their very first mobile phone. Here we are, the number one iconic mobile phone of the last 25 years. And it's a relatively new design, launched in 2007 by a company new to the mobile phone market. Its sleek design and touch screen made it a design classic from its very first day. It is, of course, the Apple iPhone. 